assalamu alaikum dear student today i will start question number 5 of 5a exercise of d2 for class 8 again our topic is solving quadratic equation by factorization the question number 5 part a s square plus 10s plus 21 is equal to 0 here this question is in the standard form here the coefficient of s square is 1 So I will first multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant term 21. So I will get 21. Now I will find the factor of 21. 3 into 7. 3 into 7 is 7. So I will select this pair because their sum makes middle term and their product. make the 21 so i will use these two factor as a coefficient of s so s square plus 3s plus 7s plus 21 we know we have four term from first two term i will take s as a common factor then here here i will have s then here i will have 3 from last two term i will take 7 as a common factor so uh, here i will have s and in the last i will have 3 now we have two term in both the term s plus 3 is common so i will take s plus 3 as a common factor then in the first term i will have s in the last term i will have plus 7 so here i will use the principle either first is equal to 0 or second is equal to 0 from here s is equal to minus 3 and from this s is equal to minus 7 that's the solution of the given equation next question number 5 part c u square plus 6u minus 27 is equal to 0 now the equation is in the standard form here coefficient of u square is 1 i will first multiply coefficient of u into constant term i will get minus 27 first of all i will find the factor of 27 so 1 into 27 yes 3 into 9 so i will select this pair because their difference form middle term and their product form minus 27 so i will use Uh, 9 and minus 3 as a coefficient of u. So u square plus 9u minus 3u minus 27 is equal to zero. In the first two term, I will take u as a common factor. So I will have u plus 9. From last two term, I will take minus 3 as a common factor. Then here I will have u plus 9. now we have two term in both the term we have u plus 9 so i will take u plus 9 as a common factor in the first term i will have u in the last term i will have minus 3 now here we, i will use the principle either first is equal to 0 or second is equal to 0 from here u is equal to minus 9 and from here u is equal to 3 now question number 5 part C the equation is in the standard form 6x square minus 29x plus 20 first here coefficient of x square is 6 and the constant term is 20 first i will multiply 6 into 20 i will have 120 now i will find the factor of 120 uh, 1 into 120 2 into 60, 3 into 40, 4 into 30, 5 into 29. So I will select this pair. I will select this pair because uh, no 24. Sorry, 5 into 24. No, I will select this pair because. Minus five minus twenty four makes middle term minus twenty nine, 
एंड देयर प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म वन ट्वेंटी सो आई विल यूज माइनस फाइव एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एज अ कोफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स सो सिक्स एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव एक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल जीरो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू टर्म आई विल टेक एक्स एज अ कॉमन फैक्टर सो सिक्स एक्स माइनस फाइव फ्रॉम लास्ट टू टर्म आई विल टेक माइनस फोर एज अ कॉमन फैक्टर सो सिक्स एक्स माइनस फाइव नो वी हैव टू टर्म इन बोथ द टर्म वी हैव सिक्स एक्स माइनस फाइव एज अ कॉमन फैक्टर सो हेयर आई विल हैव एक्स हेयर आई विल हैव माइनस फोर नो आइदर फर्स्ट इज इक्वल जीरो और सेकेंड इज इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई सिक्स एंड फ्रॉम सेकेंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर दैट्स अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ द गिवन इक्वेशन नो क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव पार्ट एच द इक्वेशन इज इन द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म टू जी स्क्र माइनस थ्री जी माइनस फोर्टीन इज इक्वल टू जीरो हेयर द कोफिशेंट ऑफ जी इज टू एंड द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इज माइनस फोर्टीन सो देयर प्रोडक्ट इज माइनस ट्वेंटी एट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल फाइंड द फैक्टर ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट वन इंटू ट्वेंटी एट टू इंटू फोर्टीन यस फोर इंटू सेवन सो आई विल सेलेक्ट दिस पेयर because minus 7 plus 4 form middle term minus 3 and their product form minus 28 so i will use minus 7 and 4 as the coefficient of z 2z square minus 7z plus 4z minus 14 is equal to 0 now we have four term from first two term i will take z as a common factor so i will have 2z minus 7 from last two term i will take 2 as a common factor then here 2z minus 7 now we have again two term in both the term we have common factor 2z minus 7 so i will take 2z minus 7 as a common factor in the first term i will have z in the last term i will have plus 2 Okay, either first is equal to zero or second is equal to zero. From first, two z is equal to seven. From second, z is equal to minus two. So z is equal to seven over two, or z is equal to minus two, is the solution of the given equation. Now, question number six: Solve the equation. Equation is seven x cube plus twenty one x square is equal to zero. first of all i will take no we have two term first of all i will take 7x square as a common so in the first term i will have x in the second term i will have 3 now again we use the principle either first is equal to 0 or second is equal to 0 from here x square is equal to 0 over 7 x is equal to 0 not taking square root on both side Square and square root cancel each other. Then x is equal to zero. X plus or x plus three is equal to zero. X is equal to minus three. So x is equal to zero or x is equal to minus three is the solution of the given equation. Now, student, question number eight, part A, solve the equation seven f plus f square is equal to sixty. first of all i will convert it into standard form uh, student as the standard form is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so first of all i will convert this into the standard form so f square plus 7f minus 60 so here the coefficient of f square is 1 coefficient of f is 7 and the constant term and the constant term is minus 60 first of all i will multiply the coefficient of f with the constant term then the product is minus 60 so first of all i will find the factor of 60 1 into 60 2 into 30 3 into 
ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू फिफ्टीन फाइव इंटू ट्वेल्व सो आई विल सेलेक्ट दिस पेयर बिकॉज देयर डिफरेंस देयर डिफरेंस फॉर्म मिडल टर्म एंड देयर प्रोडक्ट इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटी ओके सो आई विल यूज ट्वेल्व एंड माइनस फाइव एव इज अ कोफिशेंट ऑफ एफ सो एफ स्केयर एफ स्केयर प्लस ट्वेल्व एफ माइनस फाइव एफ माइनस सिक्सटी इज इक्वल जीरो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू टर्म आई विल टेक एफ एज अ कॉमन देन हेयर आई विल हैव एफ प्लस ट्वेल्व फ्रॉम लास्ट टू टर्म आई विल टेक माइनस फाइव एज अ कॉमन सो एफ प्लस ट्वेल्व Now we have two term. Both the term have f plus twelve. So I will take f plus twelve as a common factor. In the first term I will have f, and in the second term I will have minus five. Either first is equal to zero or second is equal to zero. From here f is equal to minus twelve and f is equal to five. That's the solution of given equation. Now part B students will be your homework. Next question number nine. Solve the equations. Part A. K into two k plus five is equal to three. First of all, I will convert above equation into standard form. As we know, standard form is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. So, first of all, k will be multiply with both two k and plus five. So. 2k square plus 5k, 2k square plus 5k minus 3. Now here the first term is 2k square, so the coefficient of k square is 2, and the constant term is minus 3. First of all, I will multiply 2 with minus 3, then I will get minus 6. So first of all, I will find the factor of six. So one into six. I will select this pair because six minus one makes five, which is the middle term, and the product of six and minus one is equal to minus one is equal to this. So I will use six and minus one as a coefficient of k. So 2k square plus 6k minus k minus 3 is equal to zero. Again, we have four term. From first two term, I will take 2k as a common factor. So here I will have k plus 3. From last two term, I will take minus one as a common factor. So here k plus 3. Now we have two term again. Both the term have k plus three, so I will take k plus three as common. So in the first term I will have two k. In the last term I will have minus one. So either first is equal to zero or second is equal to zero. From here k is equal to minus three, and from here k is equal to one over two. That's the solution of given equation. No student, that's enough for today. so i will meet you in the next lecture till khuda hafiz